Arthur C. Clarke said. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. John Keel on his book, entitled, UFO, Operation Trojan Horse, writes. The same manifestations that created our religious beliefs, created our UFO beliefs. A serious look at the phenomenon, would cause a revision of our way of looking at religion. Socrates said. What if we do not adopt beliefs because we find truth in them, but only, once they are adopted, come to regard them as true? In a 2010 article, entitled, Believing the Strangest Things, Loving the Alien, Alternative Knowledge Researcher, Andrew Johnson, discussed a deeper significance of the songs of David Bowie, particularly his 80s tune, Loving the Alien. Andrew Johnson notes. It is meant to relate to organized religion, but the use of the word, alien, seems rather odd to me. In the light of what we know now, about the reality of extraterrestrials and their appearance in our skies, and on the ground, reviewing the lyrics in some of Bowie's songs, really can make one wonder. Generally speaking, it seems there is an effort to muddle up, cover up, or discredit those discussing, or providing information about higher consciousness or those interacting with it. To me, there seems to be a strong effort to discourage or prevent people from experiencing it, or, when they do, there is then an effort to manage their perception of it, for example, what is common to all religions. It is the mystical experience. So, let's muddle up the mystical experience in a religion, so that no one can understand it, or fully appreciate it. This is particularly true of the ancient alien intervention paradigm, where it is believed that extraterrestrial contact and evolutionary intervention with humanity, dates back thousands of years. It appears that the phenomenon has had a profound influence on belief systems, whether mythological, mainstream, esoteric, or hidden or secret belief systems. In this video, I will examine the possibility that this influence has been usurped, misdirected, or even wholly orchestrated by certain players within the global agenda. I will also discuss the role that science fiction has undoubtedly played in shaping certain perceptions of the subject. In order to give a general overview of the ancient alien intervention scenario, I will briefly categorize the predominant contentions relating to the ancient aliens paradigm. Some of the key points overlap multiple categories. I have also cited a few examples of when aspects of each category have featured in science fiction. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Space Brothers. This is a multifaceted intervention scenario, motivated by a benevolent intent toward humanity, possibly as part of an agenda to advance human consciousness. Contact with Pleiadians and Venusians have been cited in this scenario, often concurrent with warnings to humanity about the threats of nuclear war or environmental disaster. The Venusian tag became popular in 50 science fiction for a while. Much of the notion has subsequently amalgamated with the New Age intervention scenario. New Age intervention. Posits a mix of benign and aggressive ETS, with grand plans for the Earth. Contact is often achieved via psychic channeling. The scenario became very popular with the consciousness movement and outfits, like Esalen. A notable example of this category is the Council of Nine paradigm, popularized by the likes of Psychic Channeler, Phyllis Schlemmer, and the Lab Nine group, which became a huge influence upon Gene Roddenberry, creator of Star Trek. I will look at these aspects in a later video. Mythological Folklore Rooted in many shamanic cultures, such as the Aborigines and Native American Indians, the medicine lodges of the American Indian refer to the secrets of the lizard people, amongst other things. This scenario often relates to medicinal type experiences, DMT, the spirit molecule, etc. Also known as the Gnostic astronaut paradigm. The X-Files alluded to the notion in a few episodes, and Asazi, the blessing way, the sixth extinction, etc. Psychic spiritual intervention often described as the spiritual control system. In this case, ETS or extraterrestrial, are projections of imagination, or the collective unconscious, intrapsychic phantoms, and psychic shapeshifters. Proponents of this scenario have included UFO researcher, Jacques Vallée, and psychologist, Carl Jung. The notion was touched upon in early science fiction anthology television shows, like The Outer Limits, however it is rarely featured prominently in science fiction. Ancient Astronauts popularized by the likes of Swiss author, Eric von Daniken, although the notion was a key part of theosophy many years beforehand, the ancient astronaut scenario, spans everything from hollow earth theories, to ancient civilizations and Nazi ETS. 
Whilst controversial and convoluted to almost breaking point, the scenario is a popular aspect of the overall ET intervention subject. Hugely influential in science fiction, it has inspired the creation of popular television franchises such as Stargate and Battlestar Galactica. Biblical Aliens draws heavily from some of the more unusual aspects of the Bible, such as the Book of Enoch, and other religious texts. Many of the angelic entities in the Bible have been interpreted as ET entities, or extraterrestrial entities. The biblical Nephilim are often interpreted in a similar manner, as the spawn of some form of human, or extraterrestrial interbreeding. This interpretation of the scenario is largely confined to literary science fiction. However, a few notable televisual examples include the Vorlons in Babylon 5, and the Talons in Earth, Final Conflict. Archonic Intervention. Also known as the Gnostic theory of alien intrusion, this posits the notion that ET entities, particularly the grey creatures, are a malevolent manifestation of the Archons. Some researchers believe that Archons are predatory entities, empowered by creating a false reality based upon trickery, simulation, and substitution. Within this context, mainstream faith-based belief systems seem to have been established as a conduit for archons to further infiltrate human consciousness. It is considered that archons have penetrated the human genetic makeup over many thousands of years. Gnostic researcher John Lash describes this phenomenon as enslavement to an alien mentality, operating within our own minds that cannot be blamed on external sources, although it can be spun and affected by external influences. Strangely, the Archonic Intervention Hypothesis has received very little direct fictional interpretation. The Anunnaki. Based sizably on ancient Sumerian and Middle Eastern documentation, and popularized by authors Acharya Sitchin, in his The Earth Chronicles series, it involves entities arriving on Earth several thousand years ago from the planet, Nibiru. These Anunnaki allegedly created humanity to serve as a slave race. Commonly referred to as the reptilian agenda, it is one of the most prevalent of the ancient alien concepts. A number of researchers, most notably David Icke, have suggested that the ruling agenda elite are shape-shifting reptilian entities. The Nibiru Anunnaki paradigm has been widely alluded to in science fiction, most recently in the film Star Trek Into Darkness and television series, such as V and the Event. The subject of extraterrestrial intervention has been examined in relation to the global agenda, particularly the connection with secret society doctrines and various esoteric ritualistic and occult practices. In their book, The Stargate Conspiracy, Lynn Picknett and Clive Prince present some quite compelling information, suggesting that the global military-industrial complex, aspects of the intelligence community, certain groups allied with the scientific dictatorship, NASA, SRI, Esalen, IONS, etc., and certain secret society types, such as Theosophist Blavatsky and arch-occultist Aleister Crowley, have orchestrated a grand plan to promote themes and beliefs associated with the mystery school teachings of various secret society doctrines and associate them with the extraterrestrial intervention paradigm. Picknett and Prince have also named certain alternative knowledge researchers and writers as being part of this conspiracy. Some of the individuals they name as possible candidates are associated with research into the ET or UFO phenomenon, the abduction scenario, knowledge of the US secret space program, Egyptology, ancient aliens and civilizations, and various psychic and new age belief systems. However, they add the proviso that they are uncertain of how knowingly complicit these individuals actually are. The work of these people provides the raw material for the emerging belief system, although they may not be conscious of the part they play. It is possible that their ideas are simply being used. Picknett and Prince's suggestion, perhaps understandably, has created a huge backlash against their research. Whilst I don't subscribe to every aspect of their collective research, some of it is extensively evidential and deserves closer investigation. Certainly, it seems that there could be numerous benefits in harnessing the powerful notion of long-term extraterrestrial involvement in the affairs of humanity, at least for the agenda players. In his 1979 book entitled, Messengers of Deception, Jacques Vallée wrote, the group who will first manage to harness the cosmic forces and the emotions surrounding UFO contact to a political purpose will be able to exert incredible spiritual blackmail. There is still a continuation of this discussion, but this video is too long, if you like it, maybe I will continue in the next episode. So, comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.